All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do a video walkthrough of uh, copying transaction types in uh, Charm for Solution Manager 7.1 uh, Service Pack 8. So if you're, if you're looking to set up Charm and Support Package Stack 8, <clears throat> you need to run this uh, activity in order to create your copies of SAP's standard delivered change types. Uh, so we're going to be copying the normal change type, urgent, general, admin, uh, and defect. All right, to get, to get this started, uh, number one, we, we are in IT service management in Charm. Uh, if you've gotten this far, then you have already completed system prep and basic config end to end. Uh, when you get to check prerequisites, um, you know, in this case, this one failed because of some BW errors. Uh, we'll get those BW errors, but we can move forward with Charm config. Uh, we've implemented the Charm composite node as well. Uh, so in step two, we there's not only the solution manager composite node, but there is also the Charm composite note uh, that we have to implement, <clears throat> which is around 125 notes, believe it or not, just for Charm. Uh, then we go to step three, which is perform standard config. And the very first transaction uh, that we have is this um, copy transaction type. Now, uh, you, can, you can click here and click uh, start transaction, and it opens up a transaction called AI CRM CPY P type. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of SAP GUI HTML. I like to uh, ensure that uh, it's running. I'm not going to hit some weird ICM timeout. So what I like to do is just go ahead and run it in the SAP GUI. So again, it's AI underscore CRM underscore CPY underscore P type. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, copy the transaction type. Uh, we can leave the display preview checked. Um, SMCR is request for change. That's the first one we're going to do because uh, we're going to take advantage of that. So uh, right here, request for change. We're going to take advantage of that. Copy that. We're going to take it to ZMCR. Uh, we'll hit the execute button. Okay. Uh, and <clears throat> what we have now is uh, we can see that this is everything that's going to be created. This action profile, partner pro determination procedure, text, date profile, and status profile. Uh, we have the descriptions. You know, <clears throat> uh, for the description of ZMCR, I like request for change. That's that's great. Uh, for the other descriptions, I like to insert something that that is uh, uh, specific to my config. So you know, I'm going to put a WW in front of this. Um, so it's the action profile request for change. You know, I I know that we're using it the CRM Web UI. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of that text. Uh, same thing down here. Uh, except I'm going to call it. Um, partner determination let's see procedure uh, I want to name it Let's see for RFC. How about that request for change? Um, down here, we're going to go ahead and remove some of this extra text because uh, I have to work within the limits. All right, let's talk about this action profile or actions. Those are actions that are going to be performed. So we're going to copy the standard SAP actions uh, out of the box and uh, use those. Partner determination procedure is again who, who do, how do we determine each, each partner as part of a change request? So uh, the requester, the developer, configurator, tester, change manager, IT operator. Uh, gotta move, shorten some text here. And again, the, the purpose of this is you can obviously read the manual, but we want to do a video walkthrough just to show everybody uh, how we get this done. Okay, we go ahead and hit the green check. Uh, next, we're going to get a preview. So we're going to get a preview of all the actions to be performed. In addition to this today, what we're also going to do is we're going to review copy control, and we're also going to go over uh, copying a business role. Uh, so business role goes hand in hand with Charm. It determines what you can see and what you can do in the CRM UI and change request management. Uh, we have to do our, our uh, business times first, then we're going to do copy control, uh, and then and then business role. So we're going to go ahead and uh, wait for the screen here to return.
We know this process also works on uh, support package stack 5. Uh, we've done this config there as well. And then support package stack 10, which is to be released. Uh, w w the the uh, transaction is still relevant, uh, and the process is still the same for copying transaction types. A quick note, once you, you would also do this if you were doing IT service management. So if you're doing incidents or problems or knowledge articles, uh, you would go through the same process to copy the base SAP transaction type to your own namespace. All right, so it says the transaction can be copied, and we could look through here with, through all the different objects that are going to be copied. Um, so we drill down. You can look at this I information, or what we can do is just go ahead and hit the start the copy process. Uh, when when doing this, um, maintain make sure you have a good connection to uh, the solution manager system that you're working in. Uh, if the process stopped in the middle, uh, it would be best to abandon it and not use that name anymore. So. Um, you know, had ZMCR failed in the middle of a copy, uh, I would not attempt or recommend anybody trying to use that, that name again. You'd have to go ahead and, and choose a new, a new name. Uh, so I've got a, a, a transport request that's already open and out there for me, a workbench request. It should prompt me for customizing request as well. Uh, so we'll go ahead and click through a lot of this. Make sure it gets added here. So as I said, ensure that you have a, uh, a good connection. All right, uh, we have zero warnings, zero red lights, 67 green lights. Uh, everything looks good. Uh, what you can do from here is go ahead and click the back button, uh, go all the way back, and do it for the next change type. So here what we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, uh, the normal change type. So there's urgent, and we're looking for normal, which is SMMJ, is the new one delivered with uh, Solution Manager 7.1. We're going to go with ZMMJ. Hit the copy button. Uh, we're going to prefix it with. Uh, great. Update the text. And again, y later later down the line, when you are working in other areas and you, you can't see uh, that it's CMMJ, you can only see the description, uh, you're going to be thankful that you've added a prefix of some sort, whether, you, uh, you know, project name or company name or whatever in here, that, that so you'll be able to pick it out of a list later. Otherwise, it would say normal correction text and then normal correction texts, and you'd be guessing which one are you picking, SMMJ or ZMMJ. Uh, All right, we've picked our names. Go ahead and continue through again. So, what we're not going to show you through uh, copying all all of the um, all of the change types. We just wanted to give you an overview, uh, just so you could see it twice of us doing this. Um, again, we would we want to complete this for uh, generals, for uh, normals, urgents, generals, admin, defect, and then request for change. Um, and then what you have to do from here is this transaction type ZMMJ, you're going to have to add to all of your authorization objects uh, as part of the business, as part of the security rules that SAP delivers. Uh, we have a blo uh, we have an ar uh, article that's written by Gary Pruitt that'll uh, go over, over that, con that uh, security updates. So we'll click through here before we uh, end the video, just so you see uh, that it's been completed. And again, this, is, this has been a video demo of the Charm configuration uh, where we're copying the standard SAP change types to our own, chain, uh, to our own namespace for use in uh, Charm as part of Solution Manager 7.1 Support Package Stack 8.